Well, I'm here near Fresno, California to do something I've never done before. Drive an electric tractor. That absence of sound you can hear is just the electric motors purring. There's nothing under that hood except five big batteries. We have our powertrain, our electrical powertrain that's really compact in there. And we have five battery packs on this tractor. So we actually have one in the base of the chassis. We have three under the hood. And on the right hand side, there'll be a fifth battery. So part of our concept on modularity is really, really um, common with automotive that that common skateboard allows us to put different size tires on, different widths of axles, different calves on. And one of the best parts about having five individual battery packs is it allows you to size the power on the tractor for what a customer needs. If a customer doesn't need five battery packs, we can take one off. You could take three off, you could take two off. Controls are pretty basic. This lever here, which looks like a shuttle shift lever, really basically is. Press it ahead uh, to go forward, reverse to go back. Down there, that orange pedal is the equivalent of a throttle. Step on it harder to go faster. It's pretty much just like driving an electric car or an automatic transmission car. One of the great things as we talk about battery electric vehicles is what does that unlock for us? It allows more control of things. It allows more precision of things. So as we talk about controls, you're going to see electronic controls inside the cab. That's how we control our hydraulics. It's how we control our traction system. It's how you control steering. It's how you control braking. So this has been one of our paths on how we rapidly not just been able to control with precise control on these vehicles to allow them to be autonomy capable from day one as well. So there's need, what do they want? How do we deliver a solution that they're looking for? Knowing that it may be a different customer each time we talk to. It may be a vineyard customer that's looking for a narrow tractor like this one. It may be an orchard customer that's looking for a tractor that's a little bit lower profile and able to navigate the orchards like that one. Or it may be a dairy customer that's looking for a tractor to go into the barn, to do feeding, to do feed push-up, to do all the jobs that we see in the dairy. It might be a tractor that looks like this. The tractors, the way they're looked, the way they're designed, are really driven by what does the customer need at the end of the day. So these tractors would be really close to our 5ML series, these specialty tractors right here. While we have a standard tractor right here, right now these tractors we have had roughly comparable to a 130 horsepower diesel tractor. On the side of the tractor down here is where the charging port is behind this locked panel.